In this video, you'll see how to use MemberPress with Zapier. Zapier is a very useful online automation tool that lets you connect your MemberPress site with thousands of the most popular web apps and services. Things like Gmail, MailChimp, Google Sheets, Asana, pretty much all the major CRMs, billing systems, email autoresponders, and more. It lets you create connections between MemberPress and whatever service that you choose to automate all kinds of tasks. Just some examples. You can send an email through your autoresponder when a credit card expires, generate sales receipts in QuickBooks for newly completed transactions in MemberPress, add a new row to a Google spreadsheet when a member cancels, add new MemberPress members as active campaign contacts, and hundreds of others. See the MemberPress integration page on the Zapier website to explore more possibilities. So to get started, you'll need MemberPress installed in your WordPress site, and you'll also need to create an account on Zapier. Once that's done, from your WordPress admin dashboard, you're first going to need to install the MemberPress Developer Tools add-on. So go to MemberPress here on the left sidebar and Add-ons. Then find Developer Tools. Then click to install and activate it. Then you'll be able to go to MemberPress on the left sidebar and access the Developer Tools here. Here you'll see a tab for Zapier. You can use this to browse or search for services that you want to connect. And if you click these links here, it'll take you to that integration page to learn more about it and to get it connected. So to connect your MemberPress site to Zapier, go to the Zapier website and log into your account. You'll then be taken to your Zapier dashboard. And then here on the left, click My Apps. Then search for MemberPress. And once you see MemberPress here with the MemberPress logo, click Connect. You'll then be taken to this screen here, where you're going to insert an API key and your site's URL. So going back to the WordPress dashboard, back in Developer Tools, go to the REST API tab. Then click here to copy the API key. Then go back to that window in Zapier and paste it here. Then I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard and hover over Visit Site here, and click Copy Link Address, which is my site's main URL. Then, going back to Zapier, I'll paste it here. And just note that the URL should include the HTTP or HTTPS section here at the beginning, and should not include any forward slash on the end, so it should look like this. Then, when I continue, it'll connect MemberPress. And then once that's done, here under My Connections, you'll see MemberPress. Now to actually make things happen between your MemberPress site and different services through Zapier, you'll need to create what's called a Zap. And there are a few different ways to set these up. First, I'm going to show you how to easily set up a Zap using sort of a template that's pre-built. On the Zapier tab of the MemberPress Developer Tools, as well as the MemberPress Integrations page on the Zapier website, you can find a number of preset Zap templates for all kinds of automations. And then later in the video, I'll show you how to set up a Zap manually here from the Zapier dashboard. So for this video, I'm going to be automating a task to add a row to a Google spreadsheet. So first, I'm going to go back to the MemberPress developer tools from the WordPress dashboard. Then in the Zapier tab, I'll click Google Sheets. And I can see a pre-built Zap here to add a row to a Google Sheet every time a member cancels a subscription. If I click Use This Zap, it takes me to this page. And I can click here to start setting it up. Another way to create these pre-built Zaps is to come to the MemberPress Integrations page on the Zapier website and find one that you want to use. In my case, I'll find that same one. So I'll go to Google Sheets, and I can see it here as a popular Zap. But if by the time you're watching this video, it isn't listed here, you can always search for it on this page. And if I click Try It, it takes me to that same screen that we saw before. Now, before I get this Zap set up, I'll go back to show you some other options. Up here, you'll notice an area where you can select a trigger and action and create a custom Zap. The trigger is an event that will start an automation. So when something happens, then something else will happen. You can use these arrows to toggle through triggers, and then select an action over here. And when you click this button here, it'll take you to the Zap Editor to set it up. You'll see more on this later. Down here, you can see a list of triggers and actions that you can select too. 
You can select a trigger that you want, and then it'll open up that zap editor to start with that trigger. So going back, I'm going to go ahead and select this zap here. Then I'll click here to continue. Then I'll follow the prompts to set everything up, which are pretty easy to follow. I'll follow these prompts to connect my Google account. It'll connect my Google account. And I'll be able to select my sheet on Google Drive. Before I move on, I have a spreadsheet set up on my Google Drive account here. In the first row, I have fields that I want to collect, which you can all see in this first row here. You just need to make sure that you're collecting all this information on your registration page. So if I go back to WordPress, and then view my site, and then navigate to one of my registration pages for a membership, I can see that I'm collecting all this user data here when they register. So going back to setting up my Zap, then it brings up my Sheets, and I'll select my Sample Sheet. Then it registers all my fields on the sheet that we just saw. I'll select them all, and then click Next. And then under each field, I can select what it actually corresponds to in MemberPress. So my user ID, I want to be this ID number here. So I'll select that. First name will be member first name. And I'll go ahead and select the rest of these. Then when I continue, it prompts me with this, saying that it'll create a new test row to make sure this works. Then I'll click Send Test. Then once that's done, I'll go back to my Google Sheet and see the test row inserted here. So it's working so far. Now, going back to Zapier, I'll click Next. Then I can review my Zap that was just created. Now I'll click Turn on Zap. Then it lets me know that my Zap is on. And that's it. Now, if I go back to the Zapier dashboard and go to Zaps, I can see my Zap here and see that it's on. So now I want to test to make sure that this works on my site, aside from Zapier's test that I just ran. So I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard. Then I'll go to MemberPress and Subscriptions. Then I'll find an active subscription of a test account that I have set up. And I'll make note of the username. Then I'll go ahead and click Cancel here. So that cancels this test user's subscription. Then I'll hop back into my Google Sheet. And here I can see a new row added. So my Zap's working. So going back to Zapier, one other thing I want to show you is how to create a new Zap manually. So for my Zapier dashboard, I'll select Create Zap. Here you'll choose your trigger. So if I wanted to create the same Zap that I just made, I choose Member Press. Then for the event, I choose Subscription Stopped. Then I'll continue. Then choose your MemberPress account you set up in Zapier. Then it'll test the trigger to make sure that your site's connected properly. And then step two, Action, I'll select Google Sheets. And the event will be Create Spreadsheet Row. Then you'll choose your Google account, and then the drive, the spreadsheet, and the worksheet. And then you'd select your fields. Now, I won't go through this entire process, but you can use this method for creating Zaps if you're not able to find one that's pre-established on the MemberPress integration page of Zapier or the MemberPress developer tools. And that's it. You've now seen how to connect Zapier to MemberPress to automate tasks between services. Again, browse the Zapier tab of the developer tools or visit this page to see the different kinds of things that can be automated with our Zapier integration. And visit our knowledge base for more information. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.